nothing, 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 nothing. So I come up, blow the ash off. Now she's hot again, right? Nothing, nothing, nothing. So now I'm really mad. I've been shooting cannons for over 15 years. I've never made or met a cannon that's got the better of it yet. There's always a reason when these things don't fire. It's either you're messing up or you have a problem with the gunpowder. Gunpowder hates moisture. I thought I had the gun probably pretty wiped down and dry this morning. Moisture makes your gunpowder get gooey and it can't fire until it loses the moisture and it's dry again. So basically what happened was I just sat here until finally I cooked off the moisture and she went boom. What she's gonna do this time, I promise. I'm gonna put this to the gun. Bam! This is a Bontefuego. Means this is a fire stick. The English call these a linstock. That was slang from the Dutch word, which meant this was a matchstick. And you can see what it's for. So the gunner can be away from the blast. I'm gonna light the gun. I don't wanna light it like this because I'm gonna get a nasty surprise. Um, if I had a unibrow, I won't anymore. I have a brand new hairdo. You'll see this big explosion on the rear of the gun. It looks like a lot of smoke. If this was nighttime, what you'll see, it's big orange ball. It's all fire. That's gunpowder going off. So if you want to get a good picture, what you're looking for is when the Bontefuego comes in contact with the cannon. Now this is going to be loud, and I'm going to yell, Fuego! So what it means is fire, of course, but what it really means for you guys is if you're going to cover your ears, that's the time. Now this is not going to be deafening, so if you don't, um, you'll be okay. Your ears just may be ringing a little. Um, I'm only shooting a little gunpowder, a couple of ounces. This would have been shot with three pounds. Remember I told you this would have been full? A pound of black powder, if you take a stick of dynamite, cut it open and pour it out, that's what you've had. So I would be shooting three sticks of dynamite. You guys would all go, wow, but you couldn't hear each other doing that for about 45 minutes. You'd be deaf. The cannoneers paid big time. They lost a lot of hearing. You hear this, remember small gun and you're only hearing a little bit of powder. So we're going to try to shoot this so you guys get the feel and the sound of what it was like to be on a battlefield. So she doesn't fire for me this time. I'm throwing her all 800 pounds of her in this creek behind me. los bien. Meten el dedo en mi coso porque no quiero perder.